Hello everyone, I'm Brandon joining you from the Late Night Newscast. The past few days have been pretty eventful days. Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated on June 5th while campaigning to become a nominee for president. He was crossed up and he died. Robert was buried at Virginia's Arlington National Cemetery near the grave of his brother, John, according to History.com. With, with 11 children, Robert was a U.S. Senator from January 1965 until January 1968. Here is a recap of how he died. Welcome back, guys. Today, I'm reporting on Apollo 11. Apollo 11 was the, the space flight that landed the first two humans on the moon. Mission Commander Neil Armstrong and pilot Buzz Aldrin became the first two people to ever walk on the moon. Together, they spent an hour and a quarter of an hour collecting moon rocks to do research back on Earth. Thank you. In other news, the Woodstock Music Festival is going on. It is a music, music festival in the United States in the year 1969, which attracted an audience of more than 400,000 people. It took place in New York City. They had music like rock and folk, blues rock, jazz, fusion, hard rock, Latin rock, and psychedelic rock. People's ears were blessed with songs like Purple Haze from Jimi Hendrix and Together performed by Richie Havens. Yeah. On Thursday, April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. King was staying in a motel which was located in Memphis. He was in room 306 at the Lorraine Motel which was named after his wife. King's last words were to the musician Ben Brock who was going to perform. At a scheduled event, his last words were, Ben, make sure you play Take My Hand, Precious Lord, in the meeting tonight and make it real pretty. His killer, James Earl Ray, a fugitive from Missouri State Penitentiary, he, he, he was arrested on June 8, 1960 at Linden Heathrow Airport. He later pleaded guilty on March 10, 1969 and got sentenced to 99 years in Tennessee State Penitentiary. King still had a pulse after being shot and was rushed to St. Joseph's Hospital. He never regained consciousness and he was declared dead at 7.05 p.m.